Hi Taurus, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be asking the cards, what awaits for you in love for the week of July 22nd to July 28th, 2024? I'm going to take a look at your energy, Taurus, and then, I'll, and then I'll see the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. Also, I wanted to say if this reading resonates for you, I will put a link below the video in the, in the description box below that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings. All right, let's see your energy. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of Taurus. In regards to love for this week, please, the energy of Taurus. One more shuffle. All right, here we go. What's the energy of Taurus in regards to love? Taurus. First card we have for you is the King of Wands. We also have here the Sun with the Tower at the bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups, with the Knight of Cups, with the Eight of Wands. Okay. Sun in reverse with the Tower, Three of Pentacles in reverse, Eight of Cups, Knight of Cups in reverse to the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. So it does look like you released um, a relationship here that you were a part of, a relationship that you felt was toxic or that you felt wasn't serving you, wasn't serving your, your highest benefit, your highest interest. I am getting an energy of you like making a final decision to walk away. How does um, Taurus feel about this person that they're dealing with or that they were dealing with in love spirit? Queen of Swords in the reverse with the Eight of Swords with the Queen of Wands. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. So you and this person have a very strong connection with each other. We do have the King and the Queen of Wands showing up here. So there's a lot of physical attraction. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of passionate um, energy between the two of you, a passionate connection. Um, King and Queen of Wands can sometimes have a love-hate relationship with each other. Um, sometimes you love this person and sometimes you hate them, but you feel a very strong magnetic pull towards them and they feel a very strong magnetic pull towards you. <clears throat> However, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, male or female, doesn't matter the gender, this is telling me that you don't trust this person, you feel like this person is, is a liar. You feel like they're a liar. You feel like they manipulate you. They deceive you. They hide things from you. You feel like you can't trust them. So as much as you're attracted to them or as much as you feel an intense connection with them, you feel like you can't trust them. And because you feel like you can't trust them, you feel like you can't build with them. You can't build a stable um, foundation with them, a stable relationship with them. And it kind of looks like that's what you want. You want to have a stable relationship. You want to be with someone who you can trust. Um, so it does look like you made the decision to walk away or you're going to make the decision to walk away <clears throat> from this person despite how, despite how intense the, the passion is between the two of you, the attraction between the two of you. Um, you're making a head over heart decision to to free yourself from this relationship that you feel is toxic for you and unstable for you. All right, let's, let's look at your person's energy for the week. Let's see, here we go. Spirit angels and guys, please show me the energy of the person Taurus is connecting to and dealing with and love for this week, please. What is this person's energy towards Taurus for this week. Okay, let's get two more shuffles. One more shuffle. All 
All right, this is person's energy towards Taurus for this week. First card we have in their energy is the Knight of Swords to the Five of Pentacles to the Six of Wands with the Five of Swords, Four of Cups, Temperance, and the World in Reverse. Okay. Let's see. Give me a second here. So looking at this person's energy, a lot of ego connected to this person with the Knight of Swords and the Five of Swords. This person is definitely um, someone who plays a lot of head games and mind games. This is also someone who doesn't like to lose. Um, they're used to getting their way is what I'm, is what I'm noticing. They're used to getting their way. They're used to being in control. They like to be in control. There's an energy of entitlement also is what I'm noticing. This person feels like they're entitled to you. They feel like you belong to them. They feel like you owe them or, or you're supposed to be with them. It's kind of like, how dare you, is what I'm getting from their energy. How dare you, Taurus, say anything bad about me? How dare you walk away from me? How dare you blame me or accuse me of anything? How dare you break up with me? This person definitely feels a lot of unfinished business with you. They do view you as a missed opportunity for them. All right, let me clarify this. Their energy is weird. You might be dealing with a air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra for some of you. Tell me about the Knight of Swords spirit in this person's energy. Clarify the Knight of Swords and their energy towards Taurus. Eight of Swords in the reverse. This person doesn't want you to let, yeah, they don't want you to let them go with the Ten of Pentacles. This person feels very, like, safe with you. They feel, they feel like you are their security. Um, you represent their security. You represent their stability in life. This relationship is, is the most stable the rela relationship that they currently have or that they've ever had. Even with its, uh, even with its ups and downs, this person sees this relationship as the most stable relationship they've ever had. Secretly, this person wants to have a long-term commitment and a long-term relationship with you, but it kind of looks like they don't want you to know about that. They don't want, they don't want you to like, they don't want you to know how they truly feel about you. This person wants to make it seem like you're not that important to them or you're not that special or, you know, this relationship is not a big deal to them when in reality it is a big deal. With the Ten of Pentacles, this person has definitely pictured themselves having a long-term relationship with you and commitment with you. I want to say they've even pictured themselves having a family with you and having a home with you, living together with you, and, you know, establishing a firm foundation with you. But with the Five of Swords, this is definitely making me think or feel that this person has, has not told you any of this. They... They don't want you to know that they care about you and that they want, they want a long-term future with you. They would prefer it if you just looked at them as someone who is emotionally detached because it makes them feel like they're, they're sorry, it makes them feel like they, they have control. They have more control. They have more power. If, if you look at them as someone who, as, as someone who's emotionally detached, someone who could easily walk away from you whenever, whenever they choose to. But that's not the truth. It's like this person doesn't want, doesn't want you to know that they're stuck on you, that they're heavily stuck on you, that they're heavily attached to you.
again, it's mind games and head games is what I'm noticing about them. Lots of head, ga- lots of mind games and head games f- coming from them. With the Knight of Swords, there is an energy of them wanting to stop you from leaving them. They want to stop you from leaving them, Taurus. I'm definitely getting that. Um, and they're definitely going to use, you know, like tricks. Almost like a gaslighting energy or, or guilt tripping type of energy. They're, they're going to use tricks. They're going to use manipulation to to make you feel bad for for leaving them is what i'm getting all right taurus i'm going to stop the reading right here and i'm going to continue now in the extended in the extended reading i will be taking a deeper look at this person i'm going to see what exactly are their true and real feelings for you what are their true and real intentions with you for this week what actions will they take towards you moving forward and what will the overall outcome be for this relationship if you're interested, you can follow me there with the link below the video in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.